What's up guys, I'm gonna to try to make the world's quickest video here and you just try to wrap your head around it. Don't you ever want kids to submit work but then share that work with other students? So check it out, go to your Google Classroom, then go to your classwork, then your class drive folder. So if you already have an assignment and your students have already turned in something, so let's just think of like images right now, like your students turned in a picture. So for me, my kids did a brain pop on St. Patrick's Day and I was like, hey, why don't you just screen capture your score and show me? And really, I could find their score. I just wanted to see if they could learn how to screen capture and upload a document. So I was teaching them that way. But check it out, I see all their work. Well, let's say this was a picture and I said, hey guys, go find a beautiful flower outside and then now we could share with all the other kids in class. Because look, if you click on something, you could just click over and then you'd be able to scroll through all your students' work. So this is kind of a two for lesson. One, it's an easy way for you to scroll through work without having to go through the assignment page in your Google Classroom and all that. But it's also good for your students because check it out. If I go here and then I'm on Brain Pop St. Patrick's Day, look, if I just right click and then pick share, I could get a shareable link and then I could share with you know, anyone with the link if you want, or just anyone within your school district that way. And obviously keep a view, you don't want them to be able to edit anything, but then you could share that folder with kids and then now they could view each other's work. So obviously once it's already turned in, once it's done, you don't have to worry about that with kids, you know, looking at other kids' work. But if it's something great to share, like I had my kids make newspapers and then when we were done, I shared the folder and they could look at everyone's newspaper and then enjoy each other's work. So an easy way for them to throw something in on their assignment. And again, if they use the app on their phone, then if they have the Google Classroom app on their phone, then they could take a picture on their phone and just upload that picture straight to the assignment and that will be the easiest way to get a picture on there. So now hopefully that will open up some new ideas for you on ways that kids could share things, whether it's, you know, sharing a piece of writing or if you ask them to go out and do a picture walk or anything. I right, guys, see you later. Have a good night.